What's up, guys? It is July the 13th, 2021, and um, I didn't work yesterday because I did not have any damn water at my house. Well, we kind of started the Monday off wrong. Went to get up to wash my face and zero water pressure coming out of the pipes. But anyway, Woo! so... <laughs> I'm back to work today, and of course things have backed up on me. I've got a bunch of repairs to do today. Uh, one of them, first thing this morning starting off, I have to go to work on a BARD unit, a B-A-R-D, uh, one of those hanging wall deals, you know, so that'll be interesting to see what's going on with that um probably like a job trailer or it says on my phone uh pump station p-u-m-p pump station uh no cooling didn't tell me a description as to what was wrong with it or anything just not cooling whatever at least i i do like to have an idea of what's going on as to what the a little more descriptive problem but whatever you know how it is guys um not cooling bar unit pump station put r22 system um so we we know it's at least i don't know probably 12 to 15 years old probably got a lot of, I mean, you know, it's got a lot of age on it. From the picture, it looked like it had a bunch of age on it. But, uh, we'll go to this so-called pump station and work on this bar unit, and we'll, uh, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it figured out, guys, right? Figure I'd get y'all a shot of this. This is actually, like, a, a pond town reservoir. I would assume for uh, the water treatment plant, I would assume. Got a little smoke coming off the water. A little fog, a little frog, a little foggy fog fog. And uh, I guess this is the reservoir. I've never actually been here before, y'all. And, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Been working for, with this company for a while. And uh, I would assume there's like three or four of these pump stations out here. And uh, I'm just assuming now. But uh, this is the only one that I've seen a barred unit on. Um, it doesn't appear like I'm going to actually need a ladder, which is pretty sweet. Sounds like it's running. Wrong, Scotty. It ain't yeah. running, bruh. Well, I said it sounds like it's running. No, it don't. It don't sound like it's running. It actually sounds like a motor in the pump house is running and the uh, unit itself don't sound like it's doing nothing. Wake up, Scotty. This connects in the on position though, right? All right, guys. Let's get into this thing and, uh, well, first of all, make sure we're on the right unit, right? Okay, guys, hey, we are on the right unit. And uh, this is what the inside of this pump station looks like. It is going to be very loud in here. It may not be able to hear me, but let's see what we got. That set on what 75, and we are peg, pegged out. Hey guys, out here at the machine, first thing we want to do is see if the thermostat is calling. So we'll go C to Y, All right? C to Y. And we do have our 24 volts. That is the absolute first thing you want to do when you come out and 
checks on the unit, okay? And yes, we are calling. You've seen the 24 volts. So we're, uh, we got called from the thermostat. It tells us thermostat's calling, doing its job, and it also tells us the thermostat wire is okay because we've got that call, right? The very next place it goes after it leaves here is to our phase monitor, which is this right here with the, with the light on it, okay? And it's gonna go right here is where it's coming in at. And, and this other wire is where it's coming out, right? Why, why out? So you would just go to your C down here and then go up here to your Y, right? You got your Y, where it's coming in to the phase monitor. We on our C to see if it's calling for it. And yes, it is. Okay, so we're just we just want to see where that uh, that Y is breaking. What's breaking it, and why we're not getting it back to our contactor, which is right here, and the Y wire. See. I don't want to get shot, but it's right there. If y'all can see right there above my pointer finger. We're going to see where that power's not, why it's not making it there. And then from the phase monitor, which is right here, we're going to be going over here to our low pressure and high pressure switches. And as you can see, I got one lead stuck in there on the low pressure side. And then from there, we'll go back down here to our common to see if it's calling. And it is calling, all right? So then we'll move over to this other side, like so, and check the other side of the switch. Go back to our common, and we have power there as well. So what does that tell us? That tells us blue wires you follow the blue wires out down here to the low pressure switch which is attached to this pigtail piece of copper all right and we do know now that our low pressure switch has got power coming in and it's got power going out next up is going to be our high pressure switch i got a lead stuck in there on the high pressure switch we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go back down here to our common, right here, and we have 24 volts there as well. Next is we want to go to the other side of that switch, as y'all can see, where it's plugged on to the timer. Stuck it in there like so. Go back here to our C, right? And we have 24 volts there as well, which that tells us, okay, that our high pressure switch has power going in and coming out. Now, that's our, our bigger wires right here, see? You follow those wires down. They wrap around the back side of the compressor and all that good stuff and come up right here. It looks, it's more pink out here instead of red, but this is our wires because I've traced them out and it's going here to this switch for the high pressure switch. The phase monitor, the low pressure switch, and the high pressure switch, all of them have power coming in and coming out. So that's telling us that our 24 volts on our wire wire is good there, okay? Okay guys, so this is my timer with my low and, pri low and high pressure switches attached to it, right here. This is where the power is actually coming out on CC, going down, around, and whether you can see it or not, it's kind of hard to see this, but that, that yellow wire that I have my lead on, it right there, okay, is where it's feeding the contact at 24 volts for it to pull in. So... <clears throat> I got an alligator clip lead on the CC terminal of this timer. And I turned the, also I turned the timer down here from, you know, one, uh, you can go one to five minutes. It was on five. I put it on one so I don't have to sit here and wait forever. And I've actually waited about 15 minutes to get a timer 
well enough time to time around to send power out of it to the contactor. So we go over here to our C, all right, to our CC wire, which should be sending 24 volts out of it to crank up and pull in the contactor so the compressor and condenser fan motor can run. But guess what? We don't have the power on there, all right? That's not reading 24 volts. So that's what the problem is, guys. It's uh, We have power going in to the board right here, but we don't have power coming out of the board up here. So power coming in, no power coming out. That's what the problem is. We're going to need a... Uh, timer okay right here this is what we're going to need to fix this unit okay guys uh, the timer is a part that's going to have to be ordered and I already knew that uh, so I went ahead and bypassed the timer and went straight to the coil of the contactor so I can make this thing run because hey who knows you know maybe if it gets too hot in there you know those computers can't process and regulate and do their job on uh, the water here uh, so we doing all I can do to get it back up and running temporarily till we can get a part order okay so it is our 22 system and that 325 30 like you know that's Jesus like 335 300 30 35 pounds of head pressure on that condenser coil so I'm gonna get that down before I leave too I mean I know it's hot inside and it's gonna be higher pressure but I'm gonna try to get that down a little bit because we're probably pretty damn close to uh, tripping out our uh, high pressure switch and then what's it gonna do not run right so let me let me work on that see if I can get that pressure to come down I'm just gonna hit it real quick with a water hose I may need to put some coil cleaner on it we'll see I'll play it by ear Okay guys, I got that coal clean with water without having to put any chemical, harsh chemical chem you know, or anything on it, so I feel good about that. I could have resorted to that if I had to, but uh, it's pretty much dried out the condenser coal now, uh, the fan has. So uh, we're, we're running cool as a cucumber now, around 200. That's what I want to see. Oh my goodness, that's a heck of a lot better than like 330, 335 pounds of head pressure. So I think uh, this I had this one in the bag, ready to go uh, and run, perform until I can get that part in and back on this system. All right, all right guys, job well done. All right, later guys.